When you've got a large selection of true wireless buds to check out, there's only one thing. We gotta do a battle video, or we gotta find out which is the best true wireless buds for you and which are the best ones in the price range. So without wasting any more time, cue that intro and let's jump in. All right, guys, welcome back to another battle vid with true wireless buds. It's been a while since I've done this, especially for this many uh, wireless buds in one video. Now, we definitely checked out the brand new Sony WF-1000 Mark IVs, and these bad boys are a dream, but we're gonna stack them against a couple of options at different price points. We've got the Beats Studio Buds that come in at about 150. We've got the Pixel Buds A that come in at 99 bucks. We've got the Skull Candy Indie ANC that also reaches for about 129. And we've got the J Bird Vista 2. So all these are great options, but let's start with the very first one and let's look at the Beats Studio Your Buds. Buds. Now I have to say though, I was really shocked with the offering that Beats has, has brought here. So in terms of design, it is actually well designed. It's got this little bit of pill shape, uh, really small and comfortable. A lot of people talk about that. So when you take them out and then you put them in your ears, they fit quite well and you've got touch controls on them. The case itself will provide you a total of 24 hours of battery life with, of course, you've got ANC built into it. Now, we do have an application here. Now, the application is really simple and easy to use and does bring some really unique functionality. So you've got things like active noise cancellation, you've got transparency, and then, of course, you can turn it all off. You can also see your battery levels for each of your earbuds. You can rename your, uh, your earbuds themselves, and you can also press, you can basically change the controls on your earbuds. When it comes to the audio, dare I say this, it's actually good. Yes, I know I have not been a fan of Beats in the past, and I will say this is the first one I can recommend. I will, do, will say though that the mids are a bit crushed because there's still a little bass in there, but it's really good. It's not super bassy like it's in the past. And I have to say though, the combination of adding USB Type-C charging on here, golden. So definitely worth it. The Pixel Buds A are very interesting because we didn't know Google was gonna launch a Pixel Buds A. Uh, they look like the Pixel Buds. Uh, they've now come in either all white and then this is white and green. Same style and fit and really comfortable to wear. So you take them out, they fit into your ears quite well. Uh, the one thing you note, because it's priced at 99 bucks, this does not have wireless charging. So you don't have that option in there uh, with them. But you do have some app functionality as well. So we can go ahead and check that out and see what it actually brings to the table. Now, this is for any Android device. So it literally basically can be accessed through the Bluetooth menu option if you want to. Shows you the battery levels of the case and the earbuds. You can also customize your Google Assistant preferences if you want to. Uh, you can customize your touch controls for whatever reason, you just disconnected. Uh, you can also uh, customize the EQ and adaptive sound. So you do have that built in there, which is really nice. Now, when it comes to the audio quality, they are good. Uh, I would say uh, your highs are a bit t tinny, which is a bit of a bummer, but overall you still get some really good audio from this. And at its price point, you really can't go wrong. Uh, in terms of uh, noise isolation, not so much, uh, and again, since there's no active noise cancellation, if you're looking for that, this is not what you get. But you get a good pair of solid earbuds that are priced at 99 bucks that will work, of course, with all your devices. So we have the Skull Candy Indie ANC. Now, Skull Candy is usually uh, more robust with that bass sound, and it's got a little bit much edgier looking feel. Now the uh, the Indy ANC has wireless charging built into the case. You've got about 24 hours of battery life. You've got, of course, a design that has a stem. Um, so it's something that, uh, you know, should work quite well for you. And it's got ear tips. So you can have ear tips and ear wings to basically customize uh, the way it fits in your ear, which is nice. Now, you do have an application with um, Skull Candy, which is quite interesting and brings some uh, interesting functionalities on here. So one of the first things you see is the personalization of sound. So you can personalize your sound profile, allowing you to basically choose the way uh, it actually f sounds for you quite effectively. So I do like that 
with, uh, with skull candy. So that's something that's pretty cool. The other thing also is this is active noise cancellation. You can turn it on and off. Uh, um, I would say it's probably around a 70 to 80 percent uh, performance ratio compared to things like, of course, the Sony's or even, you know, AirPods Pro, as well as also the, uh, the Galaxy Buds. You've got ambient mode, music mode, podcast mode, and movie mode. So you can select uh, specific modes for it and then you can uh, go into more application things into the app you have a contact section and of course your music section so overall really solid app and the uh, the noise profile itself is really good it's a bit bassy but I think a lot of people like it it's price of 129 this is something that work well in the gym while you're working out uh, you know it's just something that's really active and fun it, it's got a fun sound to it that's the best way for me to describe it all right so we have the Jaybird Vista 2. Now Vista 2 are priced at $199. Love the really small case. I like the nice thin profile. Jaybirds are known to be workout friendly headphones that give you some really good sound. And this is no different. Now this comes with uh, an application which we'll jump into, but I do like the fit. It comes with ear tips as well. So if you need that to give you the best type of fit, it's really nice and comfortable. Uh, there is fast charging with the USB Type-C, which is the same for all the other earbuds that you've seen. And uh, this also has active noise cancellation. So when we go into the application, which we want to kind of jump into, I'm happy to see that a lot of people have apps to allow you to customize uh, your use case. So the JBED app allows you to see the battery levels for everything, your case, as well as your earbuds. You can see I have an update, so you can update gear, but it also has a lot of presets. So you can preset uh, your change of presets for your sound. Uh, you can go in and, you know, change from flat to signature, to R&B jams, extended listening, it goes on and on. You've got ANC and surround sense, which is basically your ambient mode. ANC levels are okay. I would say maybe it's actually more to the 85, maybe 90%. So it's actually pretty good. Uh, solid ANC offering. You can customize the buttons, the, you know, um, as well as also other settings. Now, when it comes to the audio functionality here and the audio, uh, at least the audio scape for this, it's really good. Uh, the presets definitely help a lot. Uh, I do like to listen to flat, but you can change the presets and you can get a really uh, customized sound signature that fits exactly you. So I do like that from Jaybird, and especially while working out, these are great because they don't fall off. Like they are really good for that workout routine. So definitely uh, something for you guys to look at. And um, the, only, the only downside to it is I would say that it's, it's flat, uh, audio is flat, music profile is not as great as I would like and also the the lows are not as low as i would like for something at this price point and of course the sony wf 1000 mark IVs or the sony mark IVs or whatever naming nomenclature you want to use is sony's pride and joy and probably i would say the best pair of headphones on this list now i know this is sort of a comparison uh, but the Sony is bringing something very different to the table it's much larger in fit and feel it's got a really light nice case there is wireless charging, there is fast charging, the USB Type-C, and honestly, they look really good. Now, the one downside I have with the Sony are the ear tips. They comply foam, which I like, but the sizing is a bit odd because you kind of have to drop down in size uh, to get the right fit. So if you can find a third-party one uh, to use, that might be a good option. But in terms of fit in your ears, they do stay well, which is pretty good. Now. Sony's only connect to one uh, device at the same time, which is a bit of a bummer. Uh, but again, if you only, if like most people you have one device, then that isn't a problem. Now, when it comes to the application, this is where Sony of course wins. Sony has the best application hands down for music listening experience. And that's something that a lot of people will definitely appreciate. So the app here, of course, allows you to do quite many things. You can go ahead and look at your battery levels. You can set up adaptive sound, which basically controls the active noise cancellation for you wherever you go. And honestly, it is the best active noise cancellation right now on the market. Now, the other thing, of course, is the sound profile. We've got speak to chat, which allows you to stop your music 
uh, once you start talking, uh, which is a great feature. Uh, the equalizer is also fantastic to customize the audio, but with this though, you really don't need to. You've got LDAC support for high-res audio, and you can analyze and also tune for 360 audio, as well as also a DSS, DSEE Extreme support. Now, overall, these are really, really good. The audio levels uh, are great, so you don't have to increase your volume that high. And the sound stage is fantastic. Plus, oh my God, the mids and the highs really come out well, and some, some really solid bass. I can go on and on and on and on and on, but even at its price point of 279, this is a definite buy. Like I said, the air tips are part that I'm not too fond of, but definitely worth it. Something that they all have in common is actually pretty solid microphones from the Beats, the Pixel, the Jaybirds, the Sonys, which have bone conducting microphones, by the way, included, as well as also the Skull Canyon with its stem. So you're gonna get a good audio experience while conversing on phone calls with any of these earbuds. So you've seen all those headphones and this is supposed to be sort of reverses, but it's kind of like a list playthrough. Now, all of them are good at their different price points, which made it hard for me. Overall, the Sonys are the best. And if you wanna spend the money, you will get the best performance from those. And they have a ton of features, which you've seen all around. The Beats Studio Buds, really show up as a solid pair, and I'm quite impressed with what Beats has on the table. And this is almost like the Android offering, if you will, for someone who wants to get AirPods. But again, they're solid on their own. Uh, Skull Candy are aggressive and fun, and again, well-priced. The Pixel Buds, uh, Buds A at $99 is a solid offering, and I like what they have there. While the J-Beds bring in something for the workout crowd with some good audio altogether. So if you guys wanna pick up any of these, Honestly, use the links down below. I really like what I have seen here, and I think they are earbuds for anyone at any price point. So don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and catch us on the next video. Enjoy entertainment.